Stagecoach day one. This is a little recap of the day. I'm so excited to be back at Stagecoach clearly and I matched my outfit perfectly to Club Magenta. I'm so proud of that. First things first, we grabbed a drink at Club Magenta, charged our phones. It was such a hot day and so nice to cool down in there. There's the fun photo op. They had custom embroidery. I was mesmerized watching her do this. She freehanded that. I got this cute bandana embroidered which perfectly matched my outfit and then shocker, Zach found the cornhole. And then we got hungry, so we went off in search of a spicy chicken sandwich, which I found and I devoured. It was perfect. And then we walked over to the infamous Ferris wheel where I had to grab some photos, of course, for the gram. Here's how they turned out. And then it was time to find our friends, find the music, we dance the night away. Not really sure what's up with those glasses, but here we are having the time of our lives. It was such an amazing day and good night. Stagecoach day one. This is a little recap of the day. I'm so excited to be back at Stagecoach clearly and I matched my outfit perfectly to Club Magenta. I'm so proud of that. First things first, we grabbed a drink at Club Magenta, charged our phones. It was such a hot day and so nice to cool down in there. There's the fun photo op. They had custom embroidery. I was mesmerized watching her do this. She freehanded that. I got this cute bandana embroidered which perfectly matched my outfit and then shocker, Zach found the cornhole. And then we got hungry, so we went off in search of a spicy chicken sandwich, which I found and I devoured. It was perfect. And then we walked over to the infamous Ferris wheel where I had to grab some photos, of course, for the gram. Here's how they turned out. And then it was time to find our friends, find the music, we dance the night away. Not really sure what's up with those glasses, but here we are having the time of our lives. It was such an amazing day and good night. I woke up and decided to vlog my day. So that's what this is. Welcome to a day in my life. Starting with skincare, little teeny bit of makeup. First thing in the morning, I cannot even fathom putting an actual outfit on. I always go for activewear, even if I'm not working out. At least I'm comfy. Hugs followed by coffee in that order. And then I'm in my little home office and I'm playing Wordle. We've been pouring our hearts and hours into this project. Can't wait to announce it soon. Zach made me a smoothie and I did in fact put my outfit to good use. On my way home, I honked my horn for the first time in this car. I made myself a matcha and some lunch. I ate it while Zach played cornhole in the background. And then I got dressed. This whole outfit is from Lovers and Friends. I'm working on the next collection for my brand Tyrone and I'm so excited, but don't peek. Zach is trying to figure out how to organize our lives better. I changed the calendar for March, put on sweats, and that was the day. Good morning from Mallorca. This morning I am attempting to revive my skin after a lot of travel. Well, first coffee, then skincare. This mask by Kiehl's is just what the doctor ordered. It's made with Amazonian white clay, which absorbs oil and draws out dirt and toxins, which I can almost guarantee I have a lot of. And then I went to go see what Zach was up to and hey babe. gave him a little fright, <laughs> which is always fun. And then after 10-ish minutes, wash it off to smooth, clean skin and bam, I'm prepped and ready for the day. Thanks for watching, bye. I'm going to Stagecoach. Festival prep for me includes getting rid of this pimple, finding my Stagecoach outfits and just resting. What I love about Stagecoach is it is so much more low key not about the outfits, more about just having a good time, drinking a beer, listening to music. That's not to say I'm not excited about styling some outfits. Starting with a pair of cowboy boots that I am so excited about. Magenta.
go to stage coach. Thanks for watching. Bye. Things in my kitchen that spark joy. The morning light, these high ceilings, my plants that stay alive against all odds. This retro clock I found that shows the date, our dinnerware. This is the limited edition cloud white collection from Fable and each ceramic piece is hand finished, making them all slightly unique. It's a timeless bright white that ties our space together. Our gold flatware, also from Fable. These pull out shelves I installed to help organize. This message board that I put inspiring quotes on and our Polaroid wall of all the memories we've made in this apartment over the last five years. Okay, not to be dramatic, but I freaking love my bedtime routine. And I'm not talking about some complicated 10-step routine. I keep it simple and peaceful since my days are usually the polar opposite of that. I am on my second jar of this Tatcha moisturizer and it is insane how moisturizing this product is. Like, I wake up feeling brand new. I make some kind of hot beverage, usually peppermint tea, and light a candle for the ambiance. Nothing knocks me out faster than a little bit of reading. And 